what is going on everyone today's video we're going to be talking about the battle for azeroth fire mage changes and i'm going to do my best to go over the new talents the changes and baseline abilities in general so stay tuned if you guys are like me i can't stand lag especially when i'm playing games haste solves that problem with custom infrastructure, their networks are able to deliver you guys a consistent and reliable connection so that all the lag, jitter, and rubber banding can stay in Bronze 5 where it belongs. Check out the links below to grab yourself a 14-day free trial. What is going on everyone? We are back with another video and this time we are on the Alpha, the Battle for Azeroth Alpha. And we are going to be looking at a very early rendition of what Fire Mages look like right now. Um, Keep in mind, this is all subject to change. This is not permanent. Things will get tweaked and most likely changed, reverted, and then switched back again, knowing Blizzard. So keep in mind, this is not permanent. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be looking at how Fire Mages look right now, what talents we have, what talents are gone, um, and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So if we're looking at um, talent specifically, I'm going to try to go over each individually and then I'm going to talk about um, what we've lost, what we've gained and how the talents have changed themselves. So we'll start with our level 15 talents. We have Firestarter, Pyromaniac and Searing Touch, which is a new talent. Um, Firestarter and Pyromaniac have stayed the same. Firestarter same thing as it does now your fireballs and power blasts above 90 percent health are always critical strikes pyromaniac same as it is now uh your pyro blasts and flame strikes while hot streak is active as an eight percent chance to instantly reactivate hot streak so you get those instant pyro blasts and then we have a new talent called searing touch which is basically our belt legendary it's now kicked into our build um scorch deals 300% increased damage and is a guaranteed critical strike when the target's below 30% health. It's a nice to have. Uh, I personally was indifferent about belt. Uh, I understand the people that use it often that like it because it's guaranteed critical strikes and you're using Scorch, which is an otherwise useless talent aside from mobility. So um, I see the usefulness in it. It does give mages some serious working power below 30% health. You're just basically always on the move. You're I mean, if you get hit by things when the boss is below 30% health and you have this talent, uh, I don't know what to say to you, because uh, when, you, with you, when you're running, um, what's it called? Uh, on live, anyway, when you're running Scorched Earth, when your Scorch builds up to 5 and you have 25% movement increase, and then you're using this talent, you're just like the ultimate mobile DPS class, so I understand the usefulness of this, this talent, and I'm happy to see it caked into the build. I think it's going to play well with certain boss fights. <clears throat> All right, so moving on to the level 30 talents, we have everything's pretty much the same. Uh, Blazing Souls over here, pretty sure. Um, but we have Shimmer, which is the exact same it is as now. Um, basically, you can cast and you can shimmer while you're casting, uh, which is the best thing ever. I'm happy they didn't take that out of the kit. Um, Blazing Soul, that has it's the same talent name, but it's changed. Um, before it used to deal, if you dealt damage within like eight or ten yards around you, it would refill your barrier. Uh, but basically now when you blink you get a free barrier. So let's just like test it out for the sake of the video um, So you blink and you get a barrier Which is nice, you know, you don't it's just kind of like a set it and forget it type of talent if you don't like using shimmer uh, For whatever reason this is a nice to have it's the only I mean blast wave I don't I'm sure it's gonna be good while you're leveling, but I don't see blast wave becoming Especially with the changes. I don't see it becoming anything serious just to say we tested it um it puts a it does it over you now it's not over the actual target so um for mythic plus and stuff this is gonna be nice um it's a knockback so i think that's pretty cool but yeah anyways that's that's what that is um moving on to the level 45 talents <clears throat> We have uh, the exact same as it is on live. We have Runa Power and Candra's Flow and Mirror Image. Uh, and Candra's Flow is the set it and forget it type of talent. Um, basically, you can build up to 20% increased damage, um, dropping down to 4% and cycles through that little change every 10 seconds. Mirror Image, 
Um, as it always has been, creates three copies of your which attack the enemy, the enemy in front of you for 40 seconds. Um, again, uh, early on in Legion, this was really, really strong, but I don't see this being the go-to talent for mages. Uh, Rune of Power, it's too, way too strong. Uh, it's too strong to not take for single target, in my opinion. Basically, you have, a, you have two charges of this ability, 40 second recharge. Uh, you place a rune on the ground for 10 seconds, which increases your spell damage by 40% while you stand within, uh, within 8 yards. So that's, in my opinion, going to be the go-to single target talent, but we will see. Um, moving on to level 60 talents, we have one new one, which a lot of people are a little upset about, including myself. Controlled Burn is gone. Um, Controlled Burn was basically useless for the entire expansion, so it's I'm happy to not see that here anymore. <clears throat> So basically we have flame on the way is as it is on live uh, it increases the number of charges for your fire blast from two to one and reduces the cooldown um, by two seconds of your fire blast alex shaz's fury uh dragon's breath always critically strikes and contributes to hot streak this was really nice for um certain bosses like enr and just in general for aoe cleave and then you have phoenix flames now phoenix flames was our artifact ability um it's become a, an ability, in my opinion, that is almost essential to playing a Fire Mage as we know it. We don't really have any more filler spells, and besides Fire Blast, we don't really have any way of forcing a Hot Streak or heating up proc, so Phoenix Flames is, is a necessity. I'm just upset that it's on this row. I'm upset that it's either not caked into the class itself, or the and that it's on the same row as Flame On. Uh, a lot of people are going to be used to using Flame On because we're used to having three stacks of Fire Blast and we're used to having Phoenix Flames. So it's going to be a little tough getting used to the adjustment of taking either or. Um, in my opinion, I think Phoenix Flames is still going to work out to being the bigger single target DPS increase just for the basic fact that it does more damage and it always cleaves even if there is an ab that spawns at some point in the fight. Phoenix Flames, are gonna if you have it, you're going to be able to do more cleave damage. Um, the only difference between these two, keep in mind, Fire Blast Phoenix Flames is that Phoenix Flames is not on the GCD, or is on the GCD, excuse me, and Fire Blast isn't. So that's going to be um, a choice that we're going to have to make for single target, but don't quote me on it. I feel like Phoenix Flames is still going to be a DPS increase single target over the other two, but we'll see. Um, for level 75 talents, everything stayed the same. Uh, phonetic Speed, Casting Scorch, increases your movement speed by 30% for three seconds that actually has changed i don't think it stacks anymore um it used to sca it used to stack and give you scorched earth uh now it's just a baseline three seconds if you re keep recasting it, it refreshes so uh 30 percent it's a bigger movement speed increase but you have to keep casting it in order for you to get that so i'm assuming phonetic speed and searing touch coupled together is going to give you a solid sub 30 percent execute range um, mobility, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be nice. Um, the way it used to be, um, it would stack up to five times, I think, and it would give you a 25% increase. So, but it lasted longer, it lasted 14 seconds. So, you know, it's a change, but it is what it is. Uh, Ice Ward, say the same. Frost Nova has two charges. Uh, only times I ever used this was on Coven, and Ring of Frost, same thing on Coven. So, these are kind of just situational talents where you take for like CC and whatever. Uh, generally speaking, though, phonetic speed I think is the one you'd want to have for general purpose rating. Moving on to the level 90 talents, we have Flame Patch, our beloved best AOE cleave talent. Uh, Flame Patch or Flame Strike leaves behind a patch of flames, which burns enemies within it for 688 fire damage over eight seconds. This is a nice uh, talent for Mythic Plus, coupled with Living Bomb, just because like. Does a ridiculous amount of damage. Adds so much potential to your fire, to your flame strike that otherwise wouldn't be there. Unstable magic. Uh, I'm quite upset that this still exists, to be honest with you. Uh, quite literally the most useless, useless talent that mages have right now. I don't know why they wouldn't put Phoenix Flames here or something. But anyway, uh, living bo uh, unstable magic basically has a 25% chance. Your fireballs, excuse me, have a 25% chance to explode on impact, dealing 40% additional damage to the target and all other enemies within 8 yards. I don't know, 25% chance <clears throat> doesn't really cover the fact that it never does damage, ever. Um, 
I don't know. It just in on live this talent is like below my equipped neck that deals damage to enemies that hit me. It just it does this I don't know. This needs to be reworked in my opinion. Um I've already written to Blizzard about this for the feedback section of BFA. Cause uh it's just it's not good. Anyways. Living Bomb. Um same as it is on live. Uh you basically cast it at your target, it becomes a bomb over 3.2 seconds and explodes in dealing Additional fire damage to enemies within 10 yards. Every other enemy that's hit by living bomb also becomes living bomb, but it, it cannot spread further than that. This talent is it's still good uh, for AoE cleave. Um, happy to see it still exist. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm getting sick, unfortunately. Uh, level 100 talents. So this is where it gets interesting, guys, because everyone was worried that in... Legion, our legendary bracers were not gonna, nothing was gonna come out of it. We're just gonna basically have to get used to not ever casting an enhanced pyroblast ever again. But to our surprise, they included pyroclasm, which is now our legendary bracer ability that is caked in to our to our our talents. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about this. I'm happy that it's here. Um. I don't know how happy I am with it being a talent choice because we are not going to ever have the kindling uh, pyromaniac build ever again. That's just something that's close to my heart. So I don't know, but we'll see how it plays out. I tested it a little bit before and it seems to be it's nice. You just your your combustion is not ever going to be lowered again because I feel like this is going to be the go to talent. You know what I mean? We're never going to take kindling. Um, over this you know we're gonna take kindling for certain fights to maybe line up combustion with certain ad phases for progression whatever you want to call it but pyroclasm is going to be the go-to single target talent i don't know yet haven't ran tests haven't done enough testing for that to be backed up with anything but opinion but we'll see so kindling stays the same uh fireball pyroblast and fire whoa no fire blast critical strikes that's is that the same yeah that's the same okay so I'm, I'm slightly retarded so your fireball pyro blast and fire blast critical strikes reduce the remaining cooldown and combustion by one second um same as is on live apparently meteor exact same call down a meteor which lands at the target location after three seconds dealing fire damage split evenly between all targets within eight yards and then burns the ground leaving a flame patch type of aoe on the ground and then like i was talking about pyroclasm so it says maximum two charges. I don't know how that charge system works because it's not a, it's a passive talent. So I'm assuming that you can you can stack up your two. I'm assuming you can you can keep um, two stacks of that on your buffs, I guess, and then use them when you see fit. Um, I don't really know how that's going to play out. Just to say that we've tested it on video here. We're going to try to get that to proc and then we're going to see if we can actually get the two stacks. <clears throat> Just because I, I want to know, for my own personal knowledge, how that's going to work out. Um, yeah, so I just want to test it out, and we'll see if it actually happens. It's always, It always says 15% chance, but then again, you never really know, do you? Keep in mind, we are not crit build stacked right now, so we're just basically paying. So we have one stack here. I want to see if we can get two. Not gonna happen. I have five stacks, six stacks of ads, pyrotechnics. Interesting. So we have one stack here. Let's see if we can get two. I don't think it's gonna happen, boys. But anyways, I'm gonna do some more testing, and I'm, I'm gonna probably post a second video about the alpha shortly after this one gets on my channel but um yeah I'm, I'm happy this is into the into the talents oh yeah there it is so we have two stacks and it instantly refreshes so basically what we can do is cast both of them right one after another inside of combustion which is really nice i like that i like that change that that to me is a great change um 
that's that saves you from munching which happens to a lot of fire mages um when they want to they have a proc but they want to get that last pyroblast off that they can't use right you'll be sitting there you'll get a proc but you'll have an instant pyroblast and you'll use that instant pyroblast and then you'll munch your proc because another one will reproc so this was a, a well a well needed change and i'm happy to see blizzard actually taking that into account because the the buff was so strong 300 percent damage to a power blast is so strong that you you munch a proc and you just you just missed out on a huge portion of damage so um yeah i'm happy to see that happen but yeah that's pretty much it for talents um let's just go over some small things that have changed um mastery has stayed the same uh your target burns for an additional percentage of your mastery over nine seconds of the total direct damage caused by your fireball fire blast scorch power blast and flame strike if this effect is reapplied any remaining damage will be added to the new ignite every two seconds your ignites may spread to nearby enemies so that stayed the same we still have cauterize as a passive critical mass uh 15 increased uh spell crit chance uh that stayed the same enhanced pyrotechnics um this has stayed the same i believe this stacks up to 10 now i believe i think on live it stacks to five um this now stacks indefinitely well basically until you you're guaranteed yourself a crit um which is a nice to have hot streak stayed the same getting two direct damage uh direct damage critical strikes in a row will make your next power blaster flame strike spell instant cast and cause double the normal damage that's remained unchanged um baseline abilities we still have what well, we have now again we've gotten reintroduced to our arcane intellect so we have that now uh counter spell is still baseline dragon's breath is baseline blazing barrier blink frost nova flame strike fireball fire blast combustion uh scorch still the same Pyroblast, obviously, Ice Block, and Viz, Spell Steel. So we have all the same abilities as Baseline as we do on live. Um, we don't have any new Baseline abilities. Um, yeah, so that's that for for uh, Toolkit. Um, so my general opinion about testing um, so far, I've done maybe two hours of testing. It hasn't been much. But um, in my opinion, Fire Mages do look good. Uh, there's a lot of uh, anti-crit protection in place right now, so it seems like uh, they're trying to keep the Fire Mage um, gameplay as smooth as possible, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, that being said, I, it looks good to me. Um, I don't know yet. Um, keep in mind that everything at the moment is on a GCD. So Berserking, Combustion everything you can think of is right now on a gcd so yeah keep that in mind uh it's a it's a tough change to get used to because i think we're used to casting things off the gcd at the moment and it kind of messes with our timings so um that being said it's going to take a little bit of adjusting but i think generally speaking everything looks good so far so um yeah this was just an early look at fire mages and bfa uh, i know i probably didn't cover everything you guys wanted to hear but again it is an early rendition of what it looks like and it's hard to test um best best uh, single target specs right now when you're wearing a full 190 gear so i just wanted to make a video going over talents and baseline changes and uh what they look like so far um but yeah it's subject to change and so far you got preheats seal of, of approval uh everything lo does look good um one thing i am disappointed about though is the phoenix flames flame on change i don't like that it's on this row i feel like phoenix flames or flame on should just be baked into our ability and give us a new talent but that's just my opinion so hope you guys like the video um yeah and i will see you soon peace